Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at 2 Timothy chapter 3. Difficult times for Christian service. But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, having nothing to do with such have nothing to do with such people. They are the kind of worms they worm their way into the homes and gain control over gullible women who are loaded down with sin and are swayed by all kinds of evil desires, always learning but never able to come to knowledge of the truth. Just as James and Jambres opposed Moses, so also these teachers oppose the truth. They are men of depraved minds who are far as the faith is concerned, are rejected. But they will not get very far because, as in the case of those men, their folly will be clear to everyone. So this is a warning. So during this time, there was people that were like this description. Now, in today's society, this is a huge statement. This is what's happening in our society this this is what people are giving into and this was the warning that this text was saying is that these at some point in time that people will give in to their sinful ways and that's what we're seeing happening now a final charge to timothy verse 10 you however know all about all my teachings my way of life my purpose faith patience love endurance persecution, sufferings, what kind of things happened to me in Antioch, in Kim, and Lystra, the persecutions I endured, yet the Lord rescued me from all of them. In fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. While evildoers and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived, but as for you, continue, continue to what you have learned and have become convicted of because you know these for those who learned it and how from infancy you have known the holy scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in jesus christ all scripture is god breathed and is useful for teaching rebuking correcting and training in righteousness so that this servant of god may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So that section of 2 Timothy chapter 3 is the opposite. It's showing that there are people that follow God's ways and his teachings and that we should all be equipped in the scriptures so that we can defend ourselves against evil attacks or evil people. It's important that we know what is in the scriptures, and then we set our hearts on that. That is the only way we will make sure that our hearts are in the right place. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will come back next week with more, and we will finish Second Timothy by reading chapter 1 and 2.